Hello, lady, uh, queen chick ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about seven signs to know that that man is not for you, my baby. It's not for you. When you see these signs, I'm telling you, just run. So if you want to stay staying, know that you are comfortable. Don't stay where you will not be comfortable. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that I have been, uh, you guys have been waiting for me, and this is three weeks I have not uploaded any video because I was so busy, and I know it's holiday as well. So I leave you. I know you are still enjoying your holiday for those who are taking holiday by now. So and um, uh, I, I have been busy anyway for doing my things, but after you will know what I'm doing because I will tell you everything. Don't worry when the time comes. So and. Um, for those who doesn't know me, my name is Queen. I'm a founder of Queen Cheek. So Queen Cheek, actually, we do creams and um, very soon uh, and diet products. So very soon we are going to promote all those things. You will be aware of what we're doing. So and uh, I work in the high street store um, as a beauty coach and image consultant. So, uh, as a beauty coach, I tell you the kind of cream you use your body. I help you to treat your skin and your hair and all those things you can have as a lady or man that is disturbing you. And uh, uh, I am a beauty coach. I help you to do your shopping or tell you the kind of dresses, how you could combine your dresses together. So, I coach. That's what I give. I do for my living anyway. So, um, today's topic let's just move on so today's topic i bring this topic because i know a lot of us have been suffering mostly i know about the ladies that have living with a man for five years hoping one day the man would kneel down and tell them you are the love of my life take this ring and you know so they have not get anything like that some of them are having three kids and uh, after what they hear is goodbye like uh as i um, there's one that it happens that i know here in london uh she had three kids with a man they have been living together and this man made her you know in a council house you don't pay much she was paying like let me say 800 the rent the man is paying the 800 and that's all the man is working having his time working all over she is the one going to take the children, doing everything she's supposed to do for her children to be fine, paying the electricity and water bill and council tax and feeding. So she has to be working to be doing all those things. The man was saving money. The man started building house in Nigeria. When she found out, the man said, oh, baby, I want to surprise you because it's for us. I want to build her so that we will have a big house in Nigeria. When the man finished building house, going to do the inauguration of the house, the man left and she was thinking her husband has left. So the man went there and people have been telling her, your man chased me and your man is saying that um, you are not his wife because you people are not married. You see, so but she was not taking it serious because she had children with this guy and they are living together and if you see this man when he dresses he's like a pastor with a tie and you know the coat and all this looking clean and when you see the lady she looks so haggard rag because she don't have time for herself taking care of three children working to pay all the bills she don't have time for herself so and finally this man traveled to nigeria and uh, not only that inaugurate his house he get married there with somebody that we don't know he came back and when he came back he went and lodged in a hotel by then he has already organized to get a house outside the area she's living in another uh, council so this man get the house another place and uh believing uh very soon the man wife come and meet him and before this lady know what is happening it has already taken six months then we was thinking the man is still in Nigeria and when it happens that the man come back, the man has already taken care of all his things and that he doesn't need the things he leave in the house and the box the man leave was empty shoes and all these rags, you know, the man has already planned his way. A man you have lived with for six good years, you have three little children 
the man leave you with a child of five, four, three, and uh, two years. You are there to manage to look for baby uh, who will see take care of your nanny to take care of the children for you to go and work for you to meet up and all those things. So you see, this lady start her life again, feel rejected with all what she is doing to please her man. So this man get married to the second wife and um, to the wife and have two children. The children, the the, the, uh, the children you have with the other girl, which is the three children, become mother and uh, fatherless because he cannot give them that love the way he's supposed to. So you know these are the things. And um, for me, I want to tell you that when you are engaged with a man, and um, when you are living with a man, try to do a little documents here in Europe. There's a document that show you and the person is living. When he's living, he will not live like a, a, a thief. He must see the government because you can charge the man to be paying at least. Even though it's 10 pounds a month the man is paying for the children, that is something. It's not it's, it's not nothing. So you have so that he will have that responsibility for his children. When the children will ask you where is daddy, you will know what to say. So that is it. So let's go on for the signs. Because I know we ladies we love with our hearts we keep all our things to to the love so i'm not talking about you know when i'm talking just the prayer from you know the ladies that they come to take money or the ones that want to be a, a baby mama so they be their baby mama have their cars and everything and if you didn't come for taking something you want to live with a man and you give all your heart i'm talking of those who are sacrificing themselves for sake of love so that's the people I'm talking about. So and um, so the seven signs, uh, as I'm saying, is that the first one is that when you meet, uh, when you see a man that, like most of the single ladies here, yeah, we are working so hard, and it happens that when we go home there, and you have a man that have been coming to your house five years, ten years, he have been coming, and when he come, he don't have time to play with you. He will just eat have lie down with you and go apart from that he's not doing anything else he just eat and satisfy himself and go he don't have time to play and when the man is playing with you smiling know that he needs something he don't do anything either is for that or for your um for you or for your wallet that's your money so these are the men what the sign you will know the man that don't have time because the relationship you have to have a man that talk with you play with you you people are best of friends and that is part of love so the second sign is a man that never satisfy you can live with him you can you every time you see him, he is asking you more because he want to drain your energy to the end asking you never satisfy always comparing you with somebody else or always telling you how you are not perfect drawing you down for you to feel anxious and lonely and when you see him you are feeling anxious and you are not feeling you just feel you are good for nothing you are not good so that man a man supposed to make to tell you how beautiful you are and tell you you are a queen because you are and any man doing that so that's a sign for you to know you have to run my darling don't stay don't wait for those kind of fake men so and uh, a man that a man that would be going to the family of friends he would be telling them bad about you when the family come in you will see them they will just boom and come inside your house anyhow or the the friends they will not talk to you they will, you see the through their eye they are not respecting you and your man will be telling you leave them they behave like that no don't mind him because it's what he's telling them that makes them to look at you that way if he made them to know that you are the queen of the house you are his wife and the queen of the house they will respect you when they come in so these are the things these are signs you have to know okay uh or those who, who go out they drink they come back late in the night you know all those things these are all the signs to know it's coming back late in the night and the money is going out he doesn't have time he cannot listen to you he don't know what is your problem that is not his business so these are the signs you know that man don't care he's just there maybe he's just enjoying your council house 
so so that you know it will, it's not paying more bills because if he's living in one room paying three to four hundred or to five hundred pounds he will not have a sitting room to watch his football he will not have because it's one room he will not have toilet and bedroom now he will use the public ones that he will share with others so in your house he's having everything the clothes you are washing pressing food is bringing to his table and he's having a free enjoyment so you know these are the things uh, these are the signs i'm talking about okay uh another sign on um, number four a man that control you a man that control you the way he do the controller is a very dangerous man among all because the controller is a manipulator it's a liar it's a jealousy a jealous man so this man will start by showing you love and you will say oh i never see such a love massage your leg and you know give you everything you want and try to show you how good he is and then after we tell you oh you know your friend you are fully i don't like your friend because he's doing this and that i don't want you to mingle with such a person bring down your friend you know for years that you and him have been sharing good good things then you will leave your friend because you want your your, your, your relationship to work before you know it again your family hey this that that people you take as your family he will bring them down and you will stop you say okay i want my things to work after it's your colleagues in the working place, you you bring you leave that. Now he put you in, the, in his island. That island now he tell you I don't like the way you dress because your dressing is not so good and this. Then you you will say okay, what do you either he tre he make you to dress short things and you know like a slot for you to take it, taking you in a special place he he will you know they will mess you up or. He will take you to dress like a grandma not his mother but his grandma so you will be dressing like a grandma in the house but my sister look at yourself is that what you want do you think that is love that is not love so these are the the the, the points so uh, number five a man that doesn't respect you a man that doesn't respect you that always humiliate you in public and use your money and just always find something to say to humiliate you to bring you down telling you how bad you are and that is not a good man the last one as i mentioned the manipulator the manipulator man is somebody who and all some of them is toxic behavior when they come they start shouting everywhere they will just bring out something to manipulate you so those things my darling what i want to ask you is this uh do you know that respecting leaving a man to control you you are sinning against god you are sinning against almighty because he said don't worship any other god beside me you are worshiping that man do you think that man is the only man you have in your life that you have you think that man is for you are you happy to see yourself you think love is that that is not love the time you focus on your children taking care of them that's when you are focusing on the fake human being so do you think that it was it love is not like that my darling and you know that when i'm talking about you are sinning against god god said he created us in his image that all human beings we are the same level in the sight of god man woman children we are the same level in the sight of god if you have been watching my film you my video you have been hearing when i'm saying this don't let yourself down you are letting god who create you down you are beautiful you are unique not because you have big nose you have big mouth you have one leg you have two hands that makes you to be ugly god know why you have that and god create human being in the six days and the seven days he leave us to create what we like adam named all the animals you see the house i'm living it's not god that built it it's human being who have brain that built it 
God give us all the facilities, the facilities that we can use to do things we want to do in life. So why are you allowing somebody to control you? Love is not made to be controlled. If you respect your husband or your man, doesn't mean he have to control you. You people are made together to decide to choose to do things together. A gentleman would like to know your opinion. Two of you can, even you want to build us in Nigeria, you say, okay, this is the money we economize. Then we, you, you, we, you say, okay, this is where we want. Go and build the house. The children going to school, sometimes you can drop them, sometimes you can drop them. You can come back home, there's say food in the house. He cook to please you because a gentleman would like to please you and you, you will be first to please him as well. This is how couples supposed to be. This is how relationships supposed to be. And I come to because I don't have much time. My wife, sisters, you have been in relationship for 10 years. The man will come to your house, eat and, you know, enjoy yourself. And you, you, will, you will go to his place. You people have been doing that once in a while. There's nothing serious. You need a man that will live with you to share. If you are living without having a man living with you in your old age, it's very dangerous. You will be sick. You will be feeling lonely. Loneliness kill. And during that COVID-19, a lot of people, our sisters, our black sisters, they like working in the hospital, in all these places. They are working nonstop. They catch COVID-19. They were in their room sick. Some of them was die in front of their television where they are watching television. Two weeks, nobody know because the children is in the school, living in the university, they don't know. And when neighbors starts perceiving all the, that's when they break the door and find your body rotting. We leave Nigeria, we leave Africa to come here to hustle to have a better life. When you go to Africa, you see everybody is hurting you, everybody is treating you nice. Is that not, is that is you? You come here, you allow yourself to be a slave because you heard there's a statistic that said that men are little and women are many. No, there's all, all every woman have his man. There's a man that's out there for you. Take care of yourself, treat yourself well, love yourself, have that confidence. If you love yourself, you will not allow anybody to control you or treat you the way it is. So this is the last or the thing I'm going to say. Just look for a gentleman because there's a big gent there's a gentleman there for you that will be your man. And take care of yourself. Thank you. Take care and um see my next video and my healthy lifestyle. I will tell you how I slim down. You see, hey, I'm slim down. So and I continue doing it anyway. So take care. Bye.